Okay, this is the 2011 Polaris Ranger 800 High Output XP. This is also the limited edition. Uh, from my understanding, that just means it comes standard with this paint scheme and also with the power dump bed. Um, the doors and the cab have been added. The doors I just took off because we were using it this weekend and didn't want the doors on there because it was nice out. Um, I'll do a quick walk around first and then I will go ahead and fire it up and show you any damage I can find as well. It's going to be dirty because like I said we were using it all weekend. It's got electronic power steering which makes it really easy. Fuel injected so it starts right up. back up here to get you the best shot of it. I'll kind of walk around and show you any bumps or bruises I can find. On the bottom of the cab here where the plastics mount together and over in the center over there where the plastics mount together. Seats look really nice. Okay, some little gouge and some fading from a sticker right there. Show you the tire conditions here. The bottom of this A arm here has a dent in it. We have, however, ordered a replacement A arm. And it might even be here today. Um, if it comes in before we sell this, we'll certainly install it. Otherwise, we'll just ship it out to the new buyer. Doesn't appear that it ever had a winch on it, which means it's probably never been a plow machine either, which explains why it's not rusty underneath at all. Uh, the cab does have a crack in the glass here. They just have a piece of tape on it, which doesn't seem to affect it whatsoever other than cosmetically. Walking around to this side. A little rust on the top part of the cab there. I believe this is the actual Polaris cab, but I'm not 100% sure. This cab feature alone, I believe, is in the neighborhood of $4,000. For that option. Minor scratch in the rear decal here. Tailgate does drop. Also the bed tilts with a push of a switch on the inside. I'll come inside now and show you a couple options. You probably won't be able to hear me however when it's running. Turn it on and see the fuel injection cycle itself. At that point, it's ready to start. High beams, low beams, headlights. Four wheel drive selector, it can go from one rear wheel to positive rear traction with both wheels or four wheel drive. This is to operate the rear dump bed up or down. This here is the windshield wipers, as you can see. This opens the gate for the heater. Um, it actually has ducted heat as well as defrost. And this is for the blower for the heater. On the other side over here is the emergency brake. Actually, I'll dump that bed so you can see underneath. All right, I'm just walking to the back here. 
Some rust on the back of the cab where the bed scratches against it when it shuts. Really clean under here, like exceptionally clean. So like I said, obviously not a plow unit. Walk around to the other side. Aside from me getting it dirty over the weekend, it really appears to be a very nice machine. I think that's about it. If there's anything else you want to see, just let me know.